Uh, um, One, two, three. Let me just. I gotta put my. I gotta put my phone in the charger. Gotta make sure that it's all alive. All right. Uh, welcome to the AC Mio podcast, third episode. Uh, I guess starring we Assassin Carnal and these guys. I guess. Cass is dead already. <laughs> This is going to be a great time, isn't it? Oh, is this um, Cass Lee? Yeah, Cass is gone. So, no, I, um, think he, I, think, I think he's just reconnecting because he, yeah. his Wi-Fi is like shit. So, um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm Blobby Gobster, the one that sounds like he's dying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got Aiden D- Kenway, D- Athens Creed, Assassin Cardinal, uh, maybe Castillo oh, because I don't know what's happening with him right now. And Father <laughs> he, he, of Understanding. He's kind of, he's, Father of he's Understanding. kind of Schrodinger's cat. Yes. Father of he's Understanding actually... may join in a little bit later, but we're unsure about this right now. He, he both uh, is and is not on the stream at any given moment. So before this started, we were talking about why I sound like crap right now, and it's because that I am I'm have a stomach bug and violent vomiting is not fun. And so then this uh-huh. led to a discussion about Athen and his recent upset, but now it moved on to Carter, and I think all of us love hearing stories coming from carter because carter's <laughs> stories are just amazing so we're gonna let him start off this whole thing with a story about <laughs> stomach upsets and crushes oh my god so i was 12 oh um, man 12 or, i was in seventh grade and um we the science department had this big field trip up to chicago that i signed up to be on and uh as it so happens, so did my crush at the time, who was like this, who was like one of the cheerleaders. <laughs> I I had high goals as a child. Oh my god. Um. Well. So the trip was fun. We went around. We saw a bunch of we saw a bunch of cool shit. We went to museums and aquariums and shit. Um. We went to medieval times. And then. Um, uh. They had they surfaced this giant fucking bird leg. I don't even know what the fuck it was. <laughs> was, was it was so, it, was it, it like was a chicken so leg? Massive. Was it like a turkey leg or it, something? It, it was like the size of my head. Why would you ever what? go to a museum to look at a giant turkey leg? I was at no, we were at medieval no, I'm ta- times. No, I'm, ta- I'm talking. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm delirious. I'm sorry. Yes, we went to the museum where there was the giant turkey leg. The giant prehistoric leg. And we all, we, we all leg. just we all just kind of swarmed around it to. <laughs> no, we, we were at medieval times. They served us food. There was this giant fucking turkey leg, I guess. And uh, the one I got, I guess, was not a hundred percent all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I still ate the whole thing because I was a dumb little kid. Just ate food and I was put in front of him. You were stuffing yourself up like a turkey, and that, and then that <laughs> night he was eating that turkey. Ni- That's so that night I'm sitting in my bed, hunched over in the fetal position, just kind of rolling around in pain because I had like fucking food poisoning or something. Oh no! Just trying to shove it down. The next day, it's still there. We go to a museum, Uh-oh. and like you know, like those um, you know, like those three D projection rooms they have like the space yeah room, yeah where it like looks like it's actually there because of the uh, spherical room uh-huh. uh, we went to one of those it was space nauseating camera angles or camera motions um the girl i had a crush on was like uh two rows in front of me uh-oh and I'm just like sitting here watching this terrible thing, getting seasick, trying to keep this down because there was no way in hell I was gonna vomit in front of this girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And then, and then at the end of the trip, by the end of the trip, it seemed to have died down. I'm like, okay, fine. And then I get on the bus. Uh, we're getting, we're all getting on the bus home. I'm talking with one of my friends. I don't know, whatever twelve year olds talk about. And randomly. In the middle of the trip, I forget why, but one of my teachers switches my friend out for her. So, so I am sitting in the same seat as my, my crush. So, of course, my little 12-year-old brain is, like, malfunctioning. 
Like you could <sighs> practically hear the gears in my head come to a screeching halt. <sighs> oh my god. There's there's like cobwebs and and like <laughs> dust. Dust Just up there, burn. like the one the one gear that is spinning over there. <laughs> and so I'm sitting here dumbfounded by the fact that I'm sitting next to my crush. I sit there for like twenty minutes in dead silence, trying um, to think of what to say. <laughs> oh, after no. tw- oh after, you're hot. After twenty, <laughs> what? No, after twenty minutes, the best thing my little twelve-year-old brain can come up with is, "Sorry, I didn't catch your name." Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh no! And, and even then, I was like sm- internally smacking myself, and that we 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 chat for a little bit, and then oh. she kind of just turns around, talks to her friends, and forgets I exist for the rest of the ride. Oh no! And then welcome. And then halfway through the trip, halfway oh. through that part of the trip, guess what oh. happens? <laughs> you uh, you spew gut juice everywhere. Nope. nope. It, what happened? But it it did come back. The stomach bug did come back, and I'm just sitting here for the rest of the trip home, hunched over, trying desperately to keep it down for three oh hours. God. For three hours, as my crush just ignores the fact that I exist and I'm in terrible pain right there. Oh God, I'm sorry. Oh, my Lord. Uh, it, it's amazing. Was that a squeak? It's Was a, that a squeak? It's amazing to look back on now, but. At the time, it was terrible. <laughs> oh my lord! Um, anyone else have one or? Um. Um. I mean, I do. Or, or, you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna say. Should, should we? Should uh, we actually talk... get to I did, the subject matter exactly. of this community? I did. I did yeah, I did want to <laughs> talk about a yeah. couple of things just because you know, AC and whatnot. Um, yeah. So, we we just spent an entire like podcast saying absolutely nothing about Assassin's Creed until the very like the last minute. Very we, end. We just very end. just to make it relevant. Just, just to make it relevant. What's hey? It's Cass cool. is back. Cass. We just spit like a random trivia fact Speaking to make of it relevant. Spit, Cass, you missed the best story ever, but you might have to wait for this. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait for this to come out, and then yeah. you have to listen to it yourself. Yeah. You're gonna laugh your ass off at mom's misery again. Get <laughs> oh, I don't know if he's talking. He's not talking right now. But I, I, I know he's here. We all know he's here. We can see the little picture. All right. Anyways. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not really a picture. It's more of like Are an you icon. There, Cass? Shut up. Let me get in. Let me get into what Cass. I need to say. <laughs> Gotta go kill demons, Cass. So, um, that's, that's, that's my best demon. Show. So, I made a post about this um, about three days ago. Um, so, <clears throat> I'll talk about it here just to re- reiterate it or whatever it is. I forgot how to English. So, uh, Ubisoft. Yes. There he is. Yes. Yes. Right. yes. 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 He's yes. still liking um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not that bad. All right, so anyway, so there's a contest that Ubisoft um, made, started around, here, I'm going to open it up. I, it started earlier this week, um, and it's basically uh, it's basically focusing on the community, not, not like the Amino community. I, I know probably some people were confused, thought this was an actual like Amino challenge, but no, it's, an, it's a challenge by Ubisoft. It's to all yeah. their all their fan all their fans from AC Amino to off in like Facebook land, everything like that. Um, and yeah. they, oh, wow! So yeah. it's not it's not something we came up with. I was just yeah. uh, I was just I was just basically being the messenger to everybody else because I know that this community is very art based, of course. You know, with writings and videos and uh, art like drawings mainly. So I thought that hey, why not let other people know who may not have. Facebook or may not pay attention that much at Ubisoft, just let them know because, you know, why not? So, um, basically, it has, it started July 17th, um, and it's going on until the 31st, and that's the entry period that you can put stuff into, and it ends July 31st at 11.59 PS, uh, PDT, don't exactly know what that time zone means. Pacific. Uh, Pacific. No, Pacific. no, no, is that, is that Pacific? I thought it was um, 
Because Google it, it, it. it. It's Pacific time. It's Pacific this time. That's my. This time. is why. This is why Google was invented. <laughs> Google doesn't have all the Last answers. Last time I went on I, Google, I, I'm sorry. it told me I was dying. <laughs> I did too, and that's what started my anxiety attacks last week. Anyways, um, <laughs> Pacific Daylight Time, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just a dumb American. I don't know anything. Um, anyways, wow. That, but, that, but that is American. <laughs> that is American. Stop. Stop. Go on. Go on, Bobby. Go on. Anyway, so it ends July 31st, um, PDT around uh, july 31st pd well hi my name is blobby gobster um july <laughs> so it's entry period is july 17th through the 31st and it ends at 11 59 pacific time um and then gets to public voting period so basically this is again still based off of the community decision um the what is, what is it though i'll talk about it. i'm just Public voting period is August <laughs> 1 to 7 at 1159 again. Bl- Blobby's trying to boot up. So basically, what this is, is from what I'm reading, it's basically people, the community, the AC fan base, uh, Ubisoft is allowing them to show off their stuff. Basically, making a picture, I'm guessing, has to be related to AC Origins. I think that's what they said. I'm not entirely yeah. certain if that's exactly it. All I read was f- fans and making a fantastic community, making art and stuff like that. Um, so fan art, fan videos, and cosplay are mainly what they're looking for. And basically what it is is you just show off your creative talent, you know, just, you know, anything really. And what it is is it's just basically another way for them to uh, build the fan base a little bit more because I think they're starting to focus on their community, finally. Um <laughs> Um, so they, so they just, I don't want, want to shit. <laughs> shut up. They just, they, they want, they want their, uh, the community to show off their skills a little bit. Um, there are prizes to this. I mean, what's a contest without being able to, yeah, but it's for Xbox. Do we... we don't have Xbox. We have, we have PS4. Well, hang on. So wave one winners. Do we, ha- do we get, a, sorry, do we get a free blowjob? <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Well, well, Aiden sounds so prizes. disappointed. So, so I'm sorry, not there. The voting is apparently going to be in waves because it says it's giving me wave numbers. So, uh, wave one winners, um, fan art winners, three runner up winners will get a digital game code for Assassin's Creed Origins Gold Edition. So, if you don't oh, wow. like, if you don't like uh, physical copies and want a digital copy, there you go. Um, one grand wow. prize winner will get Assassin's that Creed just, Origins that Dawn the of the Xbox Creed one Standard one? Edition and an Xbox One X. Or an Xbox One S. I guess that's two in one, but I'm not entirely certain. Fan video winners, three runner-up winners, will get digital game code for AC Origins Gold Edition again, and it's the same the same uh, prizes for all three of the types of winners. Uh, for so Ola. how do I win the blowjob? <laughs> well, that's a special thing, and I think you need. I th- that's I think a, you need to that's go a special to Ubisoft there. You, Ubisoft.tinydick.com. You, you walk you walk into the Ubisoft building in Montreal and just ask for it. And... Yeah. So basically, the basically yeah. this is just this is a contest um, just to show off your skills in either like uh, fan art, fan videos, or cosplay. And yeah. I like. And the prizes are basically uh, the grand prize is like getting a special edition of AC Origins, which includes, I'm guessing, like they always do, which is a a little statue of Bayek or however you pronounce his name. And Bayek. 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 And then all this. I, I, I all this, say it both. Whatever. It doesn't matter. People know what I'm saying. And tomato, you get, tomato. Like, and you can also get like the physical copy will come with it and everything like that. I believe. Um, and if you don't get the, and also an Xbox One X, um, but you know Xbox, um, and if you don't win that, you still get a digital copy of the game. Um, so cool. it's it's pretty cool. But game. but here uh, here's one thing. Here's one thing. Is it gonna be? Does the digital cop or you know the code include for? Like PSN as well, or just Xbox? Well, if they're if they're basically saying it's a digital copy, I think it's to whichever the winner wants it for. I mean, you could have it for uh, PlayStation 4, uh, you could have it Xbox yeah, cause, One, cause, you could have it for Because from what because from what I read, it says Xbox. So, well, no Xbox. Yeah. No, what they're were, I mean, what they're it could be Xbox because AC is now like 
kind of in it, it's kind of attached to Xbox now, like how Call of Duty used to be attached to yeah. Xbox 360. They got their stuff first way back when 360 was the main dominant thing. And now a lot yep. of games have moved over to PC, but I guess AC decided to be more towards the Xbox this time. Uh, yeah. So it could be only an Xbox code. It doesn't actually say, unless, of course, if I'm not reading this correctly. Um, I mean, I put, actually, the link, I, put, I put the link in the post just for people who want to go and read through it themselves um but, actually used to have an xbox <laughs> but uh aiden wants to say something it may be for any uh any platform Console? that you want yeah Love it. because it is the gold edition yes aiden um yeah sorry i was just saying that it also is on certain parts of the world so if you're like let's say um from puerto rico America. specifically like especially like me um you can't really enter because um, your connection that's, is not from the USA, which is wow, that's dickish. Wait, yeah. wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I shouldn't say dickish. It's never mind. No, it's not dickish. It's but not dickish. wait, isn't Puerto Rico U.S. territory? Yeah, uh, it is, but apparently they just say no. Oh, so let's they're like, Ren, let's get Ren in here and ask her. Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't. But. So apparently they're like, yeah, fuck you, you're not from America, you don't get it. Well then, <laughs> oh, that's low-key, yeah. But low um, key. it's all right, because uh, uh, I, I was able to do it you go. anyways. It just let me, because I had data. I, I like came to realize that afterwards, because when I got home, I tried using my Wi-Fi, and they're like, oh, wait, your connection is not from the USA. And I'm like, well, all right. Oh, shit. So I had to enter well. Data. Could, could you still yes, use the, could you still use like data so you can like get it? Yeah, I, I had to use data too. You guys think I should try and on. put in that one fan art I drew. The Bayek and, um, and Aminet. You should enter that actually because it looks pretty nice. You should enter that for the other thing. That, 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 that picture was literally just me practicing drawing Bayek because I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to get the muscle memory to... <laughs> well, I, like I was saying, it's like is, it's, Well, you, you nailed uh, it. The voting process um, for it is basically public first and then uh, actual official here. Hang on a second. Um, public voting period, yeah. August 1st through 7th, and it ends at 11.59 on the 7th Pacific time. Panel of judges, final selection, August 7th through August 9th, and Wave 1 winners will be announced August 10th in... At 3 p.m. Pacific. So. <sighs> yeah. Cool. To be honest, to be honest, I'm actually glad uh, that, well, finally Ubisoft decides to attend to, like, their audience, you know, people who are actually fans of the Assassin's Creed series. Can I initiate? Series. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Just go, just go end yourself, please. But death Do us all a but favor. Death is against okay. the rules, though. Yeah. Death is against the rules. Exactly. All right. Screw. Go on after. Hey, guess. What? Okay. So, anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty cool that they actually are doing this uh, now because, like, you know, it's always been like the fandom thing, and it's been like you know the AC Amino thing, even though we're not officially from like Ubisoft or like from the company that, that makes Assassin's Creed. You know what I'm saying? So it's actually pretty nice that the actual creators of the game, you know, the series and, you know, the developers are actually doing something that includes, you know, to see what type of artistic or what type of talent uh, their fans out there have, you know, whether if it's art, video making or, you know, just plain, if anything, just plain cosplay, you know, to see if they can reenact their like characters and see what uh, what outfits they have and see you know, to try their best to look like their characters. Really. Didn't, they, didn't they have a big contest, like, a few years ago? Like, an art I don't, or something? I think they did that for, like, I don't even the, know if they did. The, I mean, the, I, only, the only other competition that I know of that they did to get, like, extra stuff was, like, was, was it, join Con the Conte, family for Syndicate. Conte Blanca or something like that? Maybe, Syndicate. It was something. pretty... It was but, for Syndicate. It was like, for Syndicate. No, it's Because I remember... Uh, Going through a bunch of fan art, like AC fan art, went up on a Deviant art. I remember seeing like a bunch of old pictures that were like saying, "Oh, this is for the, I drew this for Ubisoft." So, what was it called? It was for a contest. I can't remember. But, like, it was people, from one of the newer generation games, if I can recall. But it, was like, like, it was like people were drawing like 
different assassins from different time periods and then submitting them for like an art book or something. I can't remember. It, it was probably it was probably a contest for one of the newer generation uh, games for like you know Xbox One and PS4. You know, like mm. like like Black Flag, Unity, Rogue, you know, Syndicate, and or so it, on. Or it could have been that. I mean, like that could make sense for like uh, when they introduced Helix as the new like system for Animus, basically, because you know it, that's the that's the it per storyline that's like Abstergo's console where they're allowing other timelines to be shown off, and maybe that's where like they got some. Uh, ideas for different timelines, maybe for that. I, I don't know. They could. It could be around the time when they started introducing. Two thousand ten. That makes more. Two thousand ten. Interesting. Really. I oh just, wait. I just looked it up. That could be really? like. Uh, it was. Th- it that was... could be like project. Uh... Like which one? No, no. It was for the art book. Okay. It, it was, book? I, I just. I just googled. Wasn't it, that right? when Brotherhood or Revelations come out? Brotherhood. Came out? Yeah, yeah, that was two thousand ten. Yeah, that was Brotherhood. All right. It was Brotherhood. So, yeah. This is, uh, yeah, it says 2010 according to this. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the I, I yeah, the only the only competition yeah. I know of ha- is the uh, join the family one for Syndicate, where you go on and pull the lotto machine like five or ten times every day, and then you get a certain number of points, and then you can unlock digital unlocks or even real life mm-hmm. stuff, and some oh, of yeah, prizes I, for like I, a tour I of London that. or like. Merch, merch, whatever. You call they it. also did. They also did that for like. Uh, well, I don't know if it's true, but they also did that for Unity too. Like the like the Jack in the Box thing, or not uh, the Jack in the Box, like, like slot machine. Yeah, they did a slot machine thing. Yeah, I, I do. Know, I, I do know about that, but I'm not. I wasn't entirely certain exactly uh, what that was. I don't think. I, I don't think I was really paying that much attention to it anyway. I remember because I saw like trailers for it. I'm like, oh, like I, I, when it was first coming out, like, oh, that, yeah. all this and that, you know, like the slot I, I machines. Really, I really love how in Unity they gave us the concept art outfit. That's pretty cool too. Well, like, like you know, you, you know which one I'm talking about the the fearless one. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Uh, oh I'm yeah, not, I love well, that I one. Mean, I, I'm honest. The okay. one you saw in that first trailer. I'm not, that, a, big, I'm not a big fan of that outfit. I'll just be honest. I don't really it's, like that. Like it's not. It's not the best. I just like the idea that I like. I know, like, but hey, it, I, but I mean, it, it, it for me it looks. It doesn't. I mean. Yeah. It, the it the looks, scenario. The I mean. The it French looks Revolution, like concept art. It looks like concept art, and it's also. I mean, that was the first image of an outfit that you saw, especially when uh, Unity was becoming a starting yeah. to become the thing but that was the um, that was the outfit he wore in the first leak those yeah, first leaked yeah, exactly. screenshots. Leak screenshots as well as the first actual trailer that they released the announcement trailer but i yeah. don't really i'm not a really big fan of it to be honest because it just looks too it, it looks too yeah, to me it just too looks, what yeah, to me it, it it looks like okay. a peasant <laughs> Yes, like a member so, of the yeah. third estate. Yeah, you know, what? trying yes, to gain their freedom. It does, <laughs> and I. Well, it's not only yes. You're, yeah, as I was saying that, I was I was trying to say, and I understand it's the French Revolution. <laughs> but I mean, I, why, I'm not. A why does this French? <laughs> why does this French Revolution person look like they're from the French Revolution? Okay. Hmm. Okay. I know. I know. I'm not. I, I just, it, it, it. I just. I just don't really like the look of it. I'm. I'm much more fan of Arnold's uh, actual which, which, outfit now. Which now this begs. Safe. This begs the qu- the question of why did they do that for Unity, but for fucking Syndicate? <laughs> no, they, not, they, they don't talk about. Not, they, shoved, not, they, they shoved that original screenshot uh, oh, leaked screenshot go. outfit into a different character. Who is on for literally a minute of screen time oh, and then never oh, mentioned again? You know what? This is oh. the one thing that I hate a lot about Syndicate, and it was the <laughs> first thing that I had to make fun of in my video. That is the <laughs> biggest stab in the dick that I've ever encountered. The, big, the biggest. Okay, the biggest the no, 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 no. I want. I want to hear. I want to hear this. Okay. Here's the. Here's the thing. All right. When the yeah. AC, when AC Syndicate was first called AC Victory, and all the screenshots came out, I was actually pretty excited for it. I even liked the Same. look of the outfit, especially from the back. Same. That outfit looked cool. Mm-hmm. It actually looked like something that I would see in the in Victorian mm-hmm. England. 
Yeah. When they changed that, when they said it was two different assassins time, the outfit changed. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess they didn't really want to like that anymore. I mean, it is concept art after all, even if it is gameplay screenshots. But what really pissed me off was the fact that they had to put that character in the very first other character you see besides the two main characters and flaunt that outfit in front of you and be like, oh, you remember this? Well, here it is. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Just like what? It, it looks cool. It looks a lot better than this Outman door outfit that looks like he just took two pieces of felt and then smashed together. And oh, then the, the hood fucking... looks like it's just wrapped around his head instead of actually being a hood. And then we have oh. to, and then there's Evie, and uh, we don't want to talk about Evie anymore. T- we're stuck with the top hat. We're stuck with the and top hat. And the top hat. The top hat is we- dumb. You know, I, I, I feel like I would be nicer. To, I feel like I would I be nicer to this character. game if we could, if we had the the hood toggle. And not a real hood toggle, not like fucking you crouch down yeah, and just like, I know. yeah, but I mean, I would, spider I crab. Would've, I would have been so happy. I think I would have been so much happier with of, that outfit and that cause, character cause a lot of, because it a lot looks of those, like Victorian England. And all the other choices you have, look, no matter who you're playing as, it doesn't really look Victorian England. Aiden. It looks dumb. They, they, they look like mm-hmm. what you're a still cosplayer. <laughs> they look like what yeah. a cosplayer right. thinks Victorian in England yeah. looks like. I know. And not what actually. That, that so, first outfit does these very. I, th- it I does. thought it looked actually very Victorian. And I was upset. And I was even yeah. more upset when they had to show him again. Like the very first time I was playing that game, I'm like, is that. Is that. Is that the first guy? Yeah. What? yeah. That outfit <laughs> it, it, looks cool. Rachel. I want that outfit. I would have been oh, happy. Hi. You know what? I would oh, have been hi, happy. If it was actually like one of those unlockable outfits that you can get, if it was one of the choosable outfits you get, I would have loved to see that. Oh, but oh, but Blobby, instead we have to have the fucking first civilization robes. Maybe like the one, may like I the tell one you, plate of armor uh, on the shoulder. Yes, guys, guys, doesn't Aiden, look awkward at all. Aiden, Aiden wants to say something. Aiden yes. wants to say something. May, may I tell you the story of my suffering with Syndicate? Like that oh, great. My, I, I, I think I think I this like podcast is just going to be every different version of our rant for Syndicate. I think it's just I, the Syndicate hate. Podcast. I've had my rant. Blobby has his rant. Let's go with Aiden's. All right. So I mean, when I saw Syndicate, I went in and I saw that uh, the, the uh, Assassin's Creed Victory, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that really hyped me up. I see this badass, dark-looking assassin in this mm-hmm. world that just looks like all foggy and you know it looks di- different it, it has that unity feeling of mystery and all that shit right yeah and i'm hyped up as hell i'm like holy shit we have like this badass probably it, it kinda, it kinda sort of detective like, type friend yeah yeah it has a, a vibe to it right a really good vibe and feeling and you're like holy shit this is gonna almost be like badass. almost like a almost like a sherlock Holmes, like like you're gonna go and solve a yeah, big mystery yeah yeah it's like sherlock of- and and all that, and then you're like, holy shit, that's so cool. And then you get, um, you, you don't see that guy ever again. It's like, oh, you like this dick? Okay, bye. But then again, <laughs> on the other trailer, they show oh, you this, uh, Jacob, right? Uh, uh, Jacob, yeah. and while he's walking with his gang, and you're like, oh shit, this looks sick. You know, like this guy's a pimp. You know, you're gonna kick ass. Yeah. But it, it yeah. still looks Sherlock. You know, it still has that dark theme. Yeah. And then kind of the I'm like, holy shit, this is gonna be dope. I don't want to watch any gameplay. I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah. I want to be surprised. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna buy this. Yeah. I'm gonna buy oh, the I gold just... edition. I still regret this. I, I regret this. But, like this is a mistake. I I, I will always remember. <laughs> I, like I'll tell this to my kids. Like I, I said, I'll buy the hundred dollar edition, uh, the gold edition, and uh, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll just be there the first day yeah, yeah. GameStop open, and I'll get it. I get the game, I open up, I see the guy, holy shit, cool, see Jacob, I'm like, okay, this is the start, we went through this before, and um, the entire game I wonder, where, when is this start going to end, this is too much, and apparently the start is the game, like, that's it, you just go through this immature Game, it's horrible. It just, I, I just at the end of the game, I, I was just, like, "Why did I?" Spend oh, hi, oh, hi, George. What's your What's your purpose in in the story? I'm here to be the grumpy old man who sends you on your path. Bye. <laughs> you want to you know, know my? You know what, Jacob? We should take back London. Oh, it's a great idea. The Jacob, Evie, <laughs> damn it, let the rocks. May the creed guide you. Bye. <laughs> as, Bye. as I as I put it, Jacob and Evie just wanted to go to London because their parents wanted them home for dinner. Yeah, their dead parents. Uh, and uh, may I make a uh, clarification too? 
Okay. The, I do you, have you know, one more you, thing, by the way, to argue about with Syndicate. It's a very simple may, thing, may, but go ahead. Okay. So, you know how, like, like you know, Aiden was saying and how Carl was saying, yeah, you see that really cool guy and you think you're going to have his outfit? Yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> same with the gameplay, too, actually. Um, you expect the game to be super brilliant like dude they look like they, you know ubisoft well, put like a lot of work into it and and the maps are big you know huge like gta style you know but when you start playing the game you're like huh okay this feels new different okay combat feels fast it's you know faster than unity even though unity is 10 times better anyways um <clears throat> uh sure. apparently apparently while playing the game, me and Aiden, we we talked about this, like, you know, before, you know, after it came out. It was super, but it wasn't even online. It was buggy as hell. Uh, uh, like, <laughs> super buggy. I couldn't, like, I fell through the floor. I did a leap of faith. Guess what? I fell through the floor. I did I, have a few glitches with, like that. I'm not, not it, wasn't just a, it wasn't just a few glitches. It was way more than... When Unity came out, when Unity came out, okay, sure, it had glitches. They patched all that up. It was far worse than that. Granted, they were going on a different engine. Now, I can give them that, but... but same, it's the same engine as Unity, isn't it? Same, it's the same engine as Unity. Yeah. Granted, it's <laughs> different than all the other engines combined, like, you know, from, from uh, whatchamacallit. I don't know what engine, uh, like, Black Flag and Rogue, they have the same engine. And yeah. I think, uh, and I think... Number three did as well, I think. I don't know if they did. But Syndicate Syndicate and Unity, they had the next gen engine. And I can tell why it was like buggy, but they didn't even bother to patch it, or they did, but they just failed completely and miserably. So yeah, it was horrible. It wasn't even online for it to be buggy and get it. Can I can I say something about the the, the victory screenshots real quick? Yeah. About yes. that game. Yeah. In one of those, it it looks like you were originally going to have the ability to swing assassinate your target. Yep. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like you could take yep. your rope launcher and like swing and then air assassinate him from there. Actually, like you were fucking like Spider-Man or something. And it also, mm -hmm. the setting looked a lot more dark and foreboding. It, it did. Well, and when I, when and I heard they were you doing. Allowed to, wasn't another thing was you were allowed to change outfits too. Like, wasn't that a thing? Yeah, it was like you. Oh had, yeah, you, you had probably. Like, yeah, you had like vendors or something. Yeah, like you were able to <sighs> change what your outfit looked like in public. You could, you could, you couldn't go into a menu in the pause menu. You had to like go yeah. talk to somebody to do it. Well, and about the dark gray thing, like I think Bobby and I talked about this a few weeks ago. Um, uh. When I heard they were doing Victorian London. Oh yeah. I I was trying to think like, okay, what could they do with this really? And I'm like going through my head, like, because I didn't even, I didn't even really know much about Victorian London at that time. Industrial Revolution. Uh, I, yeah, but yeah, Industrial Revolution. But like, aside from that, I was like, yeah. okay, what really <laughs> defines this time? Period? I, I was thinking, I, like, what? I mean, I honestly, I mean, the, first, really the like first thing yeah. that my my mind went to was Jack the Ripper. And that was the only thing. Yeah, that yeah I mean, right? that's what, that's what they, everybody. And, okay. Like, I, I was I actually I went and uh. I went to DeviantArt and I like looked up like what people's ideas for Victorian London assassins would be like, and a lot of them had Jack the Ripper as like their head getting cast. Turn your camera off. <laughs> this is and, um, the fourth ooh, time like I tried joining back in, and so I had to use my neighbor's Wi-Fi to join, and it's a lot better than my fucking dad. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but um, a lot of glad, people. Glad you're here, Cass. Yeah, shut up. Cass. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. do we have a grumpy cast today? yes we do uh, anyway right. uh yeah, Aiden so, wanted to say something actually oh, oh go ahead Aiden. Uh, uh, yeah about what carter is saying he's completely right the jack the ripper <laughs> I'll, I'll admit though well, the jack the ripper story i actually enjoyed it like it yeah, was nice. honestly we, it, we should have had that instead of the game itself but yeah i guess <laughs> on the jack the ripper i thing, guess the though, game i yeah you can for go on, what, Carter. Yeah, for what it is, it is good. I enjoyed that a lot. It was actually like history stuff. It was educational. It was fun. It was like new stuff. And it's like, all right. But then I saw a few people's videos who had a different view on it. 
and they had a really good point. I can't remember who it was, but I, I saw a couple people. Why is there so much lore around Jack the Ripper? Why is he not like this big grand mystery? What like there's no real need for him to be this assassin named Jack the Lad who Jacob I did I the backstory was kind of confusing too. It was like did Jacob put him in the asylum? I thought he trained him or did he like Origin- originally he was trained by Jacob and then all of a sudden his mother died or something I don't know what happened and then he, but he went but Jacob insane. rescued but he met Jacob when Jacob tried to rescue his mother and failed mm. so did mm. Jacob just toss him in the asylum <laughs> I guess but like you don't but like when you start to think about that and you start to think the spirit of Jack the Ripper I mean, who, what, we don't, the whole thing about Jack the Ripper is we don't know who he is. We don't know, like, why, and, like, that's part of the, the, the not the fun, but you know what I mean, of the uh-huh. story, of the narrative, is that how awesome would it have been if it was just this force of nature, like, this just Joker character that that came in and disappeared, like, maybe you don't even get to kill him, like, maybe he just, like, you get to beat the shit out of him. And he manages to like disappear in a thing of smoke or something, and you never get to find out who he was. You, you, they give you clues that seem to lead to something, but it's not close enough. And like it just, it, it leaves you with just enough to think about what happened here. How could awesome I, would that have been? Could I add something like you know about this whole talk of characters and stuff? Can I yeah. add something a little? Real quick. I did. I did want to say one thing about Syndicate, though. That oh me. no, no, like... I'm sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Uh, actually, Blobby, you say your thing first, and I'll, I'll yeah. say it because. Okay, you know. so this is a very, very small problem that I have yeah. with the um, official trailer, like that whole cinematic trailer where. Yeah. Pre pre rendered everything basically looks almost realistic compared to like, yeah. you know, the gameplay and everything. You know, where he's running around and it's showing off the gangs and then him having all this combat with the uh, characters and he almost falls into uh, the Thames. Yeah. Here's something that I found. I, I, I you, just, oh, you, you couldn't catch yourself? No. just With the rope launcher? No, not that. There's just this one design thing with Jacob uh-huh. that I cannot get over. What? Did anybody else notice that Jacob has long hair in that trailer yeah. and he doesn't have a slick back? Oh, oh he does. That I, is annoying. That is annoying. He, he has like Ezio hair. He does. And it's slick never, back. It's never not like all that. matted. It's not all like this now, messy long hair. Gra- now, it's, granted, I like I like the, the slick back better. But it's ruined by the top hat anyway, so it doesn't really yes. matter. I just I, he looks better with the flat cap, to be honest. Like that's, why I, just, I mean, that's why I just wear the Ezio outfit, so I don't have to look at the top hat. But just still like he has this long hair he ha- in the he has trailers this kind of and thing on going one on. and on one of the AC characters po- posters, him standing there with his cane looking all dapper. And his long hair is coming out, but in the game it's slicked back. It annoys me. Also, is it me or does a leather coat kind of take away the dapperness of your character? Also, here's it, here's another thing. Why is it that when in all of in all of anything that's being shown for the game before its release, why is he being shown in the outdoors man outfit? But the very first outfit you get is the well, because port the because the very first outfit you get sucks. Exactly. To be honest, I, why I really, are they like promoting why, why do you why do you earn it when you help why do you earn it when you go see Alexander Graham Bell? <laughs> to be honest, I actually like the first outfit uh Jacob has because it's really nice. I like it. I feel like I'd like it better if I had the hood toggle. <laughs> <laughs> the hood toggle would have been better, to be honest, and just I, keep the hood on not not I that crash lot, and bullshit. I would be a lot nicer to this game's fashion sense. Well, except for Evie. 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 Evie's a bitch. We're not getting into that again. We've already done one. She, she wanted green curry. If, you were not, not supposed to say that. You were You're not supposed red. to say that. 
We were um, not supposed. We had a specific. Ask, we had a specific I'm really request ha- for I'm you not really to happy. mention that. You, 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 you could. You could just re- cut that out. You could just. I'm cut really. That out. I'm really. <laughs> I'm really happy that they're adding the hood toggle in Origins at last because it was the most. I would be so much nicer to this game if we I'm, had the hood because the to- a lot of these outfits are really cool. But they're ruined by this stupid-looking top hat that just doesn't match. I don't know about you. This is probably just be, just because I'm an original Assassin's Creed fan. Because I, yeah. I started way back when it was starting to kick off. But I'm not a big fan of the hoods that have no cowl to it. Like, they don't have the tip. I'm a real big yeah, fan the beak, of the hoods the beak, that have the, the beak. Yeah, the beak hood. Yeah, because yeah it's, I it's, it's, the it's an assa- it's an, it's the It's the Assassin look. And I wish, like, they had that. But with... Yeah. Like when they when well, they started doing it in AC four, it was kind of meh. I wasn't a big fan of it. Yeah, it does kind of take away from it a small bit. I, I, I guess I don't mind it that much. I mean, hell, I use it in some designs, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's why I make sure all my uh, OCs that I have at least have the beaked hood. That's just yeah. that's just that's just that's that that's just what well, I find like and- patent assassin. Right now, now, granted, with with some of that, with some of those designs, a beak hood doesn't work that well. Like, I don't think it would Very work true. well with Edwards, but like no. with Shay, with Shay, I feel like it would have worked. Like, he, I wish kinda... Shay actually had a hood on his outfit. Oh like, my god! Oh yes. my god! Yeah, I keep. <laughs> okay, like, so they actually show the Templar outfit that he wears has a hood and I it's even on the cover it's even on the cover it's even on the he cover has a hood on the where's co- the hood ubisoft <laughs> well, i you mean know, okay so you don't, funny you don't story. even you don't even i mean when you get the outfit mid game like after you're done with sequence whatever he, it is when he you pops decide, up his collar he pops up his collar oh yes because that's very inconspicuous <laughs> oh here i am i'm just somebody's gonna recognize me the collar's can, up okay I am not so, the irish wait. man if we're gonna talk about designs in Rogue, can we talk about fucking Otto Berg? <laughs> <laughs> who is totally not evil? I swear. <laughs> look how how look how friendly and kind this person sounds. I looks. did wanna I did wanna say something about the characters though, like um, you yeah. know how we talked oh, about what? Jack the Ripper. And, every every uh, single I, game, I have my favorite line, and I I I have one line in particular from Rogue that I love. But Athen, you go first. Okay. Oh boy. All right, so um, so you know how we're talking about characters like Jack the Ripper and stuff, you know, earlier? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's something. I don't know if you guys are going to agree with me on this, but you know how there's multiplayer characters and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Okay, so they give you, like, a little backstory about them, yeah? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, they were born here and they were doing this and that. I would actually love to see a game that involves around... Like not just the multi, like the multiplayer. I actually want to have like an actual storyline. Well, they well the, they did it. They did in the Ezio saga. Well, kind yeah, of, but there was yeah. more. Kind like, of, but the, like val, like, like a, the, uh, well, which one was Valley? Valley was Revelations. No, I mean, what, what was his name? His character name. Valley Chill. Valley Chill. No, 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 his multiplayer character name. <laughs> oh, the uh, Sentinel. Yeah, the Sentinel. The Sentinel. That guy. So yeah, I, I always I always played as the courtesan because she was the only assassin in all of those. Well, <laughs> all of those. Tra- well, well, Valley was also one, but he betrayed the brother because oh, of what uh, was her name? What was Fiora? Fiora. Fiora. Yeah, Fiora. Fiora Cavazza. She, thank you, <laughs> Fiora she Cavazza. Probably, Fiora Cavazza. She she, 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 she was Cavazza. she was she was basically Templar Templar mercenary before him, but then she's like, but she then she tag- realized that. She, she realized that Cesare Borgia is an evil douchebag, and she's well, like, "Well, yeah, that's because what's his <laughs> face decided to go in and rape her." Whatever. Oh no! no. Sen- sen- yeah, Malf- Malfredo, the doctor. Mal- Malfetto. Malfetto. What's his name? What? And he, he, yeah, but he was sent by Cesare and his men. That's true. Yeah. And she, o- she always had doubts to begin with, but she kind of didn't have right. any ability to have doubts because she had no else, nowhere so, else yeah, to so go. She was basically a Templar mercenary beforehand, but but then, and then, then she's then, Eventually, she decided she wanted to make to do good in the world and end Cesare. So he, she went to the assassins and joined them. Yeah, but no. Here's what I want to say: like, not just that, like, side them as side characters and just saying, you know, all this and that. No, like, I actually want to be able to play with them in the actual game, not just in multiplayer. Yeah, that is yeah, actually I, a very good idea. You I, you want to know that. something that I had as a thought when Brotherhood first came out? <clears throat> what? Huh. 
Mm. My f- my favorite character, how I get this, was Il Lupo, which was the um, the the most assassiny looking assassin. You yeah. know, he had the Prowler. he had the hood. Prowler. Yeah, Prowler. The Prowler. Yeah. But his real name's Il Lupo. Um, yeah. And I mean, the hidden blade he had wasn't a hidden blade; it was a switch blade, and it kind of it folded out into a real blade. But it, it was a it was a bootleg hidden blade. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a bootleg. It was pretty blade. cool. He was basically it, his. Here's the thing: his whole design. He was trained by Fiora because yeah, he, he they, was they supposed wanted, to be like the anti-assassin. Like he yeah, was they, they, trained they wanted as an temp- assassin. In order they wanted to... a Templar that could move yeah. like assassins. And so they wanted their own iconic thing and everything like that. Well, here's the here's the thing that I th- think would have been really really cool, like yeah. Athens said, um, actually being able to play as characters. But I mean, like you're able to go and take out a lot of these multiplayer characters in Brotherhood. That's what the Templar agents are, yeah. um, for anybody who doesn't know. But for I love uh, I love the guy with the robot arm. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous! <laughs> what the I, hell? I wish they added in a bunch more of them, or at least like involved them in the story at some point, because I think that yeah. would have made Brotherhood a lot better. But what I really would have wanted to see was that if you were in it, just at random points, it could even be in free roam. You start hearing the whisper, the 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 whispers that you usually hear when you're near oh! a player, and it's Il Lupo oh! stalking you. Oh so no! So kind of like what they did in Rogue. What kind of like what in they, Rogue? Not well, not in Rogue. Like what they did in Revelations, where you had the stalker, but it's just Il Lupo will show oh, up do- anywhere, oh, anywhere, <laughs> randomly. He will just show up anywhere randomly and start stalking you and try and take you down. And it's a that's... random chance. That would have been terrifying, but that would have been so cool. Yeah. 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 But uh, here's the thing. Me, I'm a big like I'm a big fan of like. After all of that, like, <laughs> Brotherhood and Revelations, and then we started going down to the era of, like, you know, like, the American Revolution and stuff, yeah. I became more attached to those characters a little more, too, actually. Because I, like, mm. me, my personal favorite, as you guys know already, is the Night Stalker, formerly known as Joe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just like, his name is just Joe. Joe. Well, <laughs> well, that's it. Joe. That's how he, that's what his name is. Well, oh, that's no, how it's he, Joe. <laughs> But Jerry, anyway, Jerry we have to leave the city quickly. Why? What's we have happening? to leave. He's coming. Who? Joe. No. <laughs> apparently, apparently, here's something uh, ironic about Joe. He uh, he may look like a murderer and stuff. Turns out he's actually working for the assassins. Well, right, because Abs- Abstergo tried to paint him as like this serial killer who just kind of went mad. Yeah. And but when you yeah. when you ha- when you unlock the arrow do the arrow ditto stuff. It actually reveals that no, he was a he was a women's he was a women's rights supporter who killed pimps. Well, well <laughs> he was to be honest, to be honest does anybody honest, he else really... feel like Joe is an anorexic? Does anybody else look at him and think, man, the, that guy's legs are too skinny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does look like he's like a like like yeah. I yeah. think you're just embarrassed. Yeah, I uh, the one the one that I always go for in um. In AC three, oh what? Oh shoot! What was the one guy's name? It was the silent, sh- the silent shooter, I think. The sharp shooter. No, 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 no. The the silent shadow. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Because you're, you're because he has stuff. the assassin outfit. Yeah. Like one of his outfits is like a a Native American version of the Sentinels outfit. Yeah. And that's what that's the one I always go for if I can't. The other one is the. Uh, What's the one thief? The, the the brother of the of Lady Maverick. What's what's his name? Uh, I can't remember. The robber. The robber. The robber. The robber because he looks like me. I, <laughs> I, I usually went as the huntsman because I think he had Raduna Gedun's outfit, but it was also because he Oh can we talk about that's that the hood tricorn combo? He that I don't like that. It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Hood tricorn combo? What are you talking about? The, 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 okay. the guy you were yes. just talking about, the huntsman. Oh, sorry. Huntsman. I was, I was like, wait, what? What are we talking he about? Ha- right now? He has, he has a hood. He has right, a yeah, hood, yeah. and then a hat on top of his hood, and it looks so stupid. What I was, what I was saying was, he, <laughs> what I was about to say was, he was the most assassin-y looking assassin out there. But the only problem I had with was the tri- <laughs> was the hat on top of the hood that just looked. Yeah. Dumb. Thank well, you for saying I... that. I forgot for like five seconds that hat is called the tricorn. <laughs> well, that's, that's why. 
That's why I go with the Silent Shadows because he has an assassin outfit, like a what, like the White Hood and everything. So, so and this he, the and he stalker, is an actually. assassin. So should we go back so, to should we go back to Rogue now since that was what we were talking uh, about? Well, we were going to talk about the modern. We're, we we're talking about well, the modern day in Rogue and how much it sucks. <laughs> and, and you were saying something about Otto Berg, but then I mentioned something oh, yeah. about the lines. Yeah, Otto Berg. Okay, so the whole point of Rogue is to be like, oh, the Templars aren't all bad, right? Like you know. Yeah. I don't. Okay, so why in the modern day would you have the guy who is proposing this new ideology to you? Be the guy who has half of his face scarred off, has a deep, grumbly, angry voice, and is constant yeah, and is constant yeah, constantly threatening to kill you if you don't join them. Well, yeah, because me, the, I mean, the Templars me are the Templars are all about order, and so with order comes like strict rules. But he li the game literally ends with him aiming a gun at you and threatening you. Yeah, that is true. That's that's he had, the thing. Yeah, throughout like... throughout all the recordings too, you find that he has zero, he, ha, he has zero value for your life. If you don't join, fuck it. He's just trash. Yeah, he, he ain't gonna. Just, it's You're like, expendable, basically. And don't get me fucking started on Violet Costa. I swear <laughs> to fuck. So like if I, said... I hear the word numbskull one more fucking time. So like <laughs> I said, there's a line from. Every AC game that I will remember forever, and the one from Rogue was when Violet Nicole was talking about, uh, what are, what's her name, Melent? Uh, Mel Melanie. Melanie. I'm I was trying to say it in a French accent. I'm sorry. Super chipper over chipper. Super chipper over Oh my god! I fuck every time she her voice. Every time I saw her subtitles, I wanted to take a screwdriver and just jam it into my eardrums because she was so fucking annoying. That was that was the funniest. Like, I, every, I, I, everyone complains about Unity's modern day, which, but at, here's the thing: at least Unity's modern day was passive and short. Like, it like it was it wasn't yeah. trying to be annoying. Fucking Violet De Costa is I mean, actively trying to. Ruin your day with how obnoxious of a comic relief she is. What I, what I said in my mind was, okay, I can already tell you're going to be an annoying character, but that's one thing that I will agree on with you, is exactly what you just said about Melanie. <laughs> come on, Numskull, come on, Numskull, it's all your fault. You suck at this job, Numskull. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 go kill yourself, how about that? <laughs> or do, I don't really care, I'm fucking, I'm a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Like, how I long do you... I hate all three of these modern Templars. Why are you trying? Yeah, I, I have a line from every single AC that I'll just remember forever. <laughs> say already. Please. What? You want me to say all of them? AC 1, Not... go. All right, <laughs> AC 1 has to be... I'm just a bartender, for Christ's sake. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> just like... Do? Teach how to oh, oh, teach dude, how to Yeah, teach, teach, teach you how to make <laughs> Yeah. Was all right, really AC 2. AC 2, go. It's a me, Mario. Hey, what's <laughs> hey, what's the matter? You won't say it. Wait, that's brotherhood. Shit. <laughs> and as Carter just said for brotherhood, hey, what's the matter? What's you the matter? You? I I I'm I'm replaying AC two right now, and I literally I stopped last night on the the scene where Mario <laughs> introduces him to the sanctuary. So that's where my mind went. Yeah, like I said, brotherhood. <laughs> yeah, that was mine for brotherhood, definitely. What's revelations? Uh, Revelations is actually not a funny one. It's more of like a spine tingling one. It just, just, just say it. Just say it. I'm it's saving you. La, 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 la. No, no. It was, it was actually I'm saving you, idiot. Go. It's when um Clay oh, grabbed yeah. onto Desmond. I love that moment that was a, so that, much. That, 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 that actually was oh, a pretty. Oh Clay, no. That was actually a pretty interesting one. Is, is Clay it bad? is a bitch though. Clay's not a bitch. <laughs> Bitch, he's just insane. Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> he just used right, your AC. body, okay? But what's he gonna do? He's... Yeah. AC, AC, hey, AC three, go. Oh crap! I have a, ton, I have a ton. I have that AC. But I, but my favorite one is well. Now I'm going to feed your teeth. Oh, oh yeah. hate that's, that's, them. That's, yes. One of the only. Only things I like about hate them is, oh, is yeah. and oh, then of course yeah. CEO's line afterward, and you think I would cause trouble? <laughs> wow! <laughs> All right, uh, AC Black Flag, go. 
it it has to go like in a world without in a world without gold we could have been heroes i mean that was that that was a pretty interesting line that uh, your heart fiddly dee do what you want because i pirate this you, you, you are a pirate <laughs> you you go there's no, no it's, power. It was wrote. In wrote heaven it was wrote. Or hell. Just, that will make me answer that question. I, that was my I favorite line from Unity. <laughs> I, I love the Marquis de Sade so much. Oh my god. I find him right. weird. All right. And, so, and, well, and I've already said mine for Rogue, too. Yeah. Did you already? I didn't hear it. Yeah, no, Shepard, it was that. Shepard, 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 Shepard. Shepard. Oh, Peter. So, okay. I mean, Unity is more like. like Hello, and it's shit. And done. That's it. <laughs> Hello, and I make my own look. Oh, crap! That would have been a, that. That one is also one from Rogue. That's one that I kept making fun of all the time. Especially oh, my or I make my own look. I make my own look. That's intensely I, I make my own look. Now let's talk shit about the I, community. I, I, like, I like to imagine that Shay on that three-month voyage back from Lisbon. Where he 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 just he just stewed. My own look. My own look. I make my own. Look. I make my own. Look. He's kind of, he's kind of angry, <laughs> angrily <laughs> grumbled while he was at the wheel. Syndicate, what's favorite line? Go. Oh, Syndicate always is going to be my favorite line, and we shall call it the Rooks. <laughs> the Rooks. The Rooks. Rook. That was that the was Rook, when I was like, I'm just going to turn off the system now because that's dumb. <laughs> I have cookies. <gasps> Do me. Good, good job. You did it. Do me. Oh, I'm ready to So I have a, I have a question, Cass. Yes. Why did you, why do you want us to make fun of the community? Oh, I don't know. I'm what? <laughs> it's for content, okay? Yeah, it's for content. For content. All of you are You're drunk. A content creator. Yeah. I love how I love how we never even got to finish our syndicate rant. We just automatically went to. Your... But no, listen. <laughs> that, to be honest, I think we're done here's, with here's, it. Here's the thing yeah. about the syndicate rant. Okay. It never ends. It never ends. It, it never ends, and I think we're done for now. It never Until ends. Until next time. <laughs> it comes and goes like a whisper in the wind. What, what what's that special type of loop where it goes in and out? But it's oh, a, a, Mo a Mobius loop. Oh yeah, a Mobius a Mobius it's... strip. <laughs> It's a Mobius the, strip. The, Every the time there's the, the syndicate, the syndicate rant, is, rant like is going to build and build and build, and it's always going to go back and forth, and it's going to keep it, continuing. It's going to keep going until it becomes a until it becomes a until, a model. Until, until next time, wait till you see us rant even more about syndicate <laughs> on the next podcast. podcast. Next we are going to like rant about the textures of the streets or something like that. Oh my god. Don't even get me we started. Something along the lines of like the back ends of the horses guys, aren't guys, guys, correctly. Guys, let's shut let's shut up about Syndicate before we get even more into detail. <laughs> I can quit. I can quit anytime I want. I can't have every single podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I can quit uh, the rant how, anytime. How long have we been going on, Lobby? How long um, has the? Thing? It's uh, we're very close to an hour, but I know Carter. Didn't you have something that you wanted to talk about? Oh, oh, my my stupid topic idea. Yeah, your stupid topic idea. Uh, I I was gonna suggest that we we. Uh, we put out what we think would make it for a great crossover. Like oh, a great boy. Assassin's Creed crossover. So, like, Don't, another game universe? If you say MLP, I'm going to leave. No, that no, that was my that was my old shitty fan fiction. <laughs> no. I was going to say, like, I was going to say Ruby would be the best oh. crossover. Because the two worlds are actually, like, like, in terms of narrative, are pretty similar. Here's here's like an excellent work idea. Well. Here's an excellent idea. Assassin's Creed and Sherlock. Oh, let's nice. call it, let's call it victory. Let's call it AC victory. Yes, let's call it AC victory. <laughs> well, we're back let's actually in everyone. the actual time of AC. You know what? Let, let's just read about AC City. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no. that's all we do. That's all we do. Let's face it. It's, it's a joke. It's always gonna form back. <laughs> we ha we have fun here. <laughs> okay, guys, guys, I have an idea. Let's uh fun. let's uh let's mix. Assassin's Creed and Sherlock together, and then we call it victory. And then when and, people's and, high and, hopes and, are and, up, and, and let's and, let's and, make it let's make it good. Let's make it good. <laughs> and when it comes and when it comes out, no, no, no when, when it comes out, are you, are you mad? We can't make it good. <laughs> we gotta no. make it moderately mad. No, no. But, 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 here's what but, we do: sir, we make it sir. look super good. We make it look super good. And then when it comes out, 
we take it all away and say uh, fuck but, you to the audience because you know but, that's but, how. But sir, but sir, sir, sir. Um, yeah. And I, we can. What? What if? Now hear me out. My, my my wife suggested this to me yesterday when we were, we were we were talking. I was talking to her about the project, and she she suggested uh, making the game just good. And and not changing it to bad, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, sir, sir. Yeah, yeah. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> but, but, uh... we gotta, we gotta they, start. They, they like they like hit a button. He like ejects like cartoon style out of his chair, <laughs> like through the ceiling. Oh city. my god! <laughs> he gets thrown out the window. <laughs> Deadward comes and drags him away slowly and dramatically. Yeah, so, so it's it, it's raping in. time. So <laughs> holy fuck. Someone walks into the conference room, everybody's staring at him, it's all dark and foreboding, the lights are off, they're probably fl- there's one probably flickering above the whiteboard, he walks yes, in, and then yeah. the, the guy at the very end turns around very slowly and says, we, and then the guy says, um, yes, uh, he- here's an idea, so re- remember the very first Assassin's Creed? Let's yes. make it good. <laughs> Let's make a remake and actually put it in this end, and then a door opens, and then he just falls. <laughs> Oh my what, God! Hey, 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 sir. How, what, what if, what if we, what if we, you know, complete this storyline that we started in AC three? You know, with the whole, what, oh, uh, oh, we can do that. Let's call it Rogue. We'll set it during the Seven Years' War. But, 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 sir, that doesn't. That just adds lore. It doesn't complete the story. You're fired. You're fired. But, Get the hell out. <laughs> sir, <laughs> the hell out. Right. But, 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 sir. You're so fired. Get out. Pack up your college. things. Back up the things. You're going to the streets right it's now. About, it's about. Your wife is gonna leave this. you. I'm gonna fuck your wife. And oh. what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Into Welcome the Hatham pit. Okay. <laughs> oh, Anyways, jokes on you. I love have, the Hatham yeah. pit. We're gonna have to What's start. Oh. We're gonna have to start wrapping this up now. So. Uh, All right. Do, do you hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you have a hold on? Oh, wrap. Castillo wanted to say something. Actually. Go ahead, bro. You, you're just. Nah. You're, you're the only. You're the only person that's like been paying attention to the two guys that aren't talking <laughs> good job athen cast sticking out for the sticking out speak for the thine opinion cast let's not make every single podcast the same and rant a little bit of something about <laughs> <laughs> to be honest he's got a point <laughs> it will be it will be a milestone I, when we get I, I, through one I don't, AC see, podcast it's easy it's anything. easy to say that cast and we say that every time but I, it always ends up accidentally becoming a syndicate rant. Yeah. <laughs> Some, yeah, somehow, somehow. Anyways, we we started we started this podcast. We'll be talking about my failed attempts to hit on my crush. You know what? And then I it think turned, I know what the problem is. It's Carter's fault. Every time he's yeah. here, we're yeah. Listening. Mom, you're grounded. No oh. more dead word. Fuck right. you. No more, mom, you're grounded. Okay. <laughs> on that, but, but, on well, that you realize. Note. You realize, Athen, that restricting Deadward is an offense to Deadward, and now he will come and disintegrate your balls with his laser eyes. I mean, Karina will be mad at. Okay. On that note, oh. we're gonna have to, we're just gonna have to wrap up now. <laughs> so, uh, right. th- thank you everybody for <laughs> tuning in this time. Um, if you guys want to ask any question in the comments, because we still haven't gotten any yet. So, if you guys ever want to ask us a question that we'll address on screen. Um, feel free to comment at either the Amino poster on the YouTube video. Where can and I find the porn? <laughs> if you guys want to draw fan art at all, we're, we're, we're uh, okay. That sh- too. Shut up. Anyways, so <laughs> but I mean, like, lobby is gay exposed. No, I wasn't meaning that. That was just perfectly timed. Draw, draw, draw a podcast orgy, please. No. Okay. So I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm killing myself. I'm, 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 I'm killing myself. You know, I'm killing myself. Thank you guys for watching. watching. I'm Bobby Gobster. I got my. I got my. I got my. Aiden Kenway was here. Aiden Kenway was here, but he's gone now. Athens Creed, Sass Cardinal, and Castillo. See you later. Goodbye. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.